Okay, what I am going to go over today is how to set up geo call routing in CallRail. At this point, I will have assumed that you have already set up your tracking numbers and now you're looking to set up a call flow for geo routing. The first thing you're want to, you want to do is go to the call flows and create a new call flow. When you create a call flow, you can select the type that you want to set up. Uh, you can copy one that you already have. If you, if you already have the geo routing setup that you need, direct to voicemail, greeting and dial, and so forth. This is an example of a call flow that has not been set up yet. It's very simple. The first option is to choose if you want to record the calls or not, and the action that takes or is taken from there. In this case, what I'm going to go over is geo-based call routing. So based on where the customer is calling from, their area code, where that phone number is forwarded to. This is helpful if you have different locations throughout different regions. If someone's calling in from the Cleveland area codes, it'll reach the Cleveland office. If someone's calling in from the Fort Lauderdale area code, the number would be forwarded to the Fort Lauderdale office and so forth. The first thing I do here is I actually record the calls. That's up to you if you want to select that option or not. Then I move to the first step. I let them know that the call is recorded for quality assurance. And then I go to my geo routing. This can be done manually or by an Excel file upload. For the sake of the video, I'm going to show you how it's manually done. Basically, when you select your geo routing, you're going to enter an area code. And then that area code is going to route to a phone number or a different selection that you select here. In my scenario, I'm routing it to different phone numbers. So I went through and added all the area codes across the United States and forward them to the correct phone number. As you can see, each location has this line here. That's where I put in the phone number that needs to be forwarded to. If a customer calls in from this area code, it's forwarded to the phone number I type in here. So basically, after you enter in that, or you upload the file, you can then select what happens next. So once it's forwarded to the phone number, if the call is not answered, you can select from these options as well. If you're not sure on what area codes are in the area you're trying to target, you can use Google or you can use this free map tools. This will give you a list of the area codes or zip codes um, in an area you're trying to target. It's a free service, that's what I used. If you have any questions or comments, um, you can either message me or leave a question in the comments below. Thank you.